out of the Python Copper Gold Prospect today, where we've recently done a fixed loop EM survey. We've come out to we've come out to Ground Truth, a robust conductor that's we've identified just to the north of here. Right here, I'm standing around the workings at Python. You can see some copper mineralization in what is limestone of the Corella Formation. This whole area has a number of small scratchings with copper mineralization dotted throughout the dotted throughout the whole prospect. But what we're really interested in is this robust conductor just here to the north. So we've come out, we've done a heritage survey, we've had it heritage cleared, and now we're just looking at the logistics so that we can see where the drill rig can go in and clear a pathway for that and get ready for the drilling. We're still at Python where we've been cutting a track through the scrub. This part through the creek was particularly thick and now it opens up into a bit wider sort of pathway. And on the way we found this old drill hole that we believe was drilled in the early 70s. It's a very narrow diameter drill hole. It's quite a low angle, just testing some surface mineralization just on the other side of the creek. We, we believe it was drilled by Aquitaine, but we also believe this is the only hole in the, in the Python area. We're still about 500 metres from the robust conductor that we identified in our EM survey just a few weeks ago. And we're slowly clearing our way to that conductor to get ready for the drilling. We're at the King Solomon Prospect, Copper Gold Prospect, and we're at King Solomon 3, which is one of the larger pits in the area. There's a network or a stock work of cross-cutting veins here of mineralisation, quartz and copper. The copper is all now oxidized and it's turned green like this area over here that you can see. So the idea here is to test if this stock work of veins continues at depth. We know from our fixed loop EM survey that there is a conductive response to winter them with this mineralization. So the idea will be to step back to the other side of this pit, this cutting, and put some RC holes down to test this at depth. Now we'll be doing this on several other areas along the King Solomon Prospect under similar size and smaller pits and shafts as well.